Good morning, guys. We are leaving uh, Hengefoss guest house this morning. Really nice place. Um, now, also, welcome to our last day, or should I say hours, <laughs> on Iceland. The trip has, uh, yeah, it's coming to an end. It's a pity. We got some nice weather so far today. It's not supposed to continue being this nice, but you know, we've had luck before, so we'll just see what happens. Um, yeah, plan for today. I'll just roam around a little bit in the area. I'm only about an hour and a half away from where the boat leaves at 6 this evening, or it leaves at 8, but I have to be there at 6. So yeah, see what else we can find in this area today. That's it, that's the plan for today. here. Ooh, the wind is... yeah. Uh, we're not in the mood to be cold today. Ooh, really nice view going down there though. That mist. In the sunshine. Whoop. Quite a chilly and windy day, so I'll just head over to the city or the little village. It's a nice ride over there. Um, yeah, I know the boat is already there. I don't think I can check in yet, but I'll see if I can, then I will. Otherwise, I know there's like a pizza place and stuff there where I can hang out and wait. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of the other bikers are showing up as well that I met on. Uh, either on the boats coming here but also a couple that I I met on the road now and I know I'll see again on the ferry so should be a lot of good company in the waiting line <laughs> eventually so yeah let's head over the mountains Attracting bikers. That's always fun. All over the way, we got Danish people, 
Belgium, French, German, um, what else? Yeah, Norwegian, obviously. Yeah, it's cool. That is an awesome bike. On the left side? Yeah. Excuse me. Take a look at this. This is my cabin. It's for two people with a uh, view out the window, which is quite nice actually. Um, I didn't have that coming over because it costs, uh, definitely costs a little bit more, but um, all the cheaper cabins were already taken or occupied when I ordered or when I got this ticket. So. It was either this or sharing a cabin with three others and that was out of the question, so here I am. Um, by the way, how do you like my uh, t-shirt? It's a good, um, good fit for today, isn't it? I'm a ray of f***ing sunshine. What can I say? Iceland left me in a good mood. Hasn't been the longest day uh, riding-wise, but yeah. I don't know, the last day is just always kind of strange, like... You want to stay but you want to go and I don't know and it was also really really cold and windy today so maybe it's like Iceland's way of saying get out of the island you're done go home we don't want you here anymore I'm just kidding I don't really know how to do like a conclusion of a trip like this because um, it's just it's so much you know it's it's gonna take a couple of days or more to you know just process the whole thing and I know it's actually it's only been 16 days people go on adventures for years you know this is only 16 days and I still feel pff, mind blown but uh, I don't know I guess I hyped this trip up so much before I left like I've been looking forward to this for so long I've been wanting to travel to Iceland since I was just a little girl and seeing my mom's album from from traveling there when she was my age and I always knew that I want to go to Iceland as well. I never knew it was going to be my motorcycle, but uh, yeah, here we are. Uh, and I don't regret a thing of it. Um, definitely a trip of a lifetime. Definitely coming back, because I think there's still a lot, a lot, lot, lot to see. 
uh, mostly just restricted by time and also my off-road skills or lack of off-road skills or courage maybe um, talking to the other bikers in the in the waiting light and also we you know all the guys met up at the cafe before we, we came here just not fun at all just you know if there's one biker there then next one comes and then I came and I saw oh three other bikers here I might as well pull over and there they were and then people kept showing up so <laughs> that's just how it is bikers attracts other bikers and anyway, what was I saying oh I'll listen to their stories you know and seeing pictures of where they've been and things they've been up to and how they got stuck in places and you know just been to this crazy crazy places and really difficult off-road tracks with you know the GS 1250s and and stuff so so yeah I think I'd, I definitely want to go back and I do want to ride the more difficult stuff um, either by myself but just with a little more experience or maybe I you know could travel with someone mm. We'll have to see, I guess. It's not going to be next year. Um, also, it's just strange because this is like the last... I had so many trips like planned this summer. Not that many, three of them, but like three longer trip um, of all together seven weeks. And now they're all done. Like what's next? I don't know what... I have a plan, I have an idea of what next, but I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Anyway, stay tuned and see what I'm up to eventually. Um, I hope you like this series from Iceland and also the ones from earlier this summer, uh, Norway and Europe. Um, is there anything I can do better, you know, let me know what you think, what do you want to see more or less of or that kind of stuff. And yeah, now it's three days on this ferry or three nights at least. Um, I arrive in Denmark, Saturday morning, uh, today is Wednesday, mm. and then I'm taking the ferry to Norway from Denmark, so yeah, it's just a lot of, of boat riding left, and then I'm home. Alright, I'm not gonna push the boat anymore, we're done, officially done. Thank you, um, and I'll see you soon.